take your coat off before we start. You'll feel more comfortable. Isis, do you want to keep your sweatshirt on? Yes. Okay. All right. And I had, I'm looking for my, my notepad. Use this one, I guess. Get this one out, too. Yeah, I like to get that little chair put away first, but no time to do it today. Well, we had a change in the weather today, didn't we? We had a big change in the weather. And the weather is sunny. Is it sunny today, or yeah. is it cloudy? Oh, cloudy. I thought it was sunny. Was it sunny I think now? It when we came, okay. yeah. Yeah, it was sunny. The weather is sunny. Um, does does it feel hot out or cold? Cold. Yeah, the weather is cold today, and sunny. Anything else? Is it windy outside now? Yes. Is it windy? A little bit. A little, little bit. bit. Yeah, so the weather is a little bit windy. <sighs> did you have snow on the ground at your house today? Yes. Uh, we did too at our house. So we had snow today, didn't we? We had snow. The weather was snowy. It's sunny now. Cold and windy. 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 And windy. I think it's getting to be winter. It feels more like a winter day. Is there anything else you need right now? Yes. Do you need anything? I first I would like a glass of water, please. All right. Do you want to finish? Well, do you want I your Coke or do you want your water yes. now? Do you want the water now? Do you want Coke or do you want water? <clears throat> Do you want water now? Coke or water? Coke! You want to drink your Coke now? Yes. Okay. So that means no water right now. We're going to do some yes, no questions today. We'll get some scenes from home. And I don't think you brought any special things in. I have his folder in the car if there's any Oh, well, this, this, is this, this is fine. This okay. is fine, sure. Do you want me to uh, get some more photo stuff? Um, um, movie sure. and photo stuff? Yeah, I Maybe like, like just some stills or that we could use okay. in movies. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. I'm going to take some of these. I'd rather do the, I have pictures of the activities in which he actually is participating. Right. I think it's more meaningful. Oh, look at this. Show me the TV. This is something that we might do at home. Show me the TV. Touch the TV. Touch the TV. There it is. Touch the cabinet. Touch the cabinet. Do you want to see the name? Yes. Okay, we found, we found the TV. TV. Now I want you to touch this. Cabinet. Touch the cabinet. That's where we put the CDs and the DVDs in the cabinet. <sighs> Do you think it's this one or that one? Or that one. There. This one this is one the cabinet. 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 See, do you see some CDs or things for the television mm -hmm. underneath? 
Yes, the cabinet. Touch the chair. Touch the chair. Point to the chair. Chair. There it is. Good job. Do you have one of these at home? Uh, not really, no. It has sonic or foot rest. I, well, he might understand foot rest because I do. Okay. Up in the TV room, I have a kind of a table I use as a foot rest. Okay. Touch the foot rest. Touch the foot rest. No. There is one here. Look at, see her feet are resting on the foot rest. Foot rest. Say that word. Foot rest. Foot rest. Touch the lamp. 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 <gasps> lamp. These are all things in the living room, aren't they? Touch the carpeting. The rug, the carpeting. The rug. That's right, the rug. Touch the wall. Touch the wall. Yes, good job. Touch the wall. Touch the drapery. Touch the... The draperies or the curtains. What do you call them at your house? We don't have them. <laughs> My house, we don't really need the privacy in our living room, so we don't have them either. Yeah. Have like shades. Touch the curtains. Maybe window covering you might understand that. Okay. But probably be good to learn that word. Yeah. Touch the curtains. Here's another way you can say it. Touch the window covering. Touch the curtains. It is window covering. Window covering. Where is the window covering? Window covering. Right there. Right there. There we say curtains. Say curtains. And here's another word we could say with them. Draperies. 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 Yeah, different words, aren't there? Curtains, it's draperies, draperies, window covering. Let's see what else is in there that we can do. Oh, I see. Touch. Let me take a look here. Touch the, touch a girl. Touch a girl. Good. Touch the girl with longer hair. Girl with longer hair. Is it this girl or that girl? Uh, that girl. Which girl has longer hair? This girl. Yeah, her hair is longer, like your mom's. That's longer hair. Oh, uh, this, this hair is shorter, shorter. hair. This mm -hmm. is the shorter hair. Shorter hair. Okay. We found out too, like longer, shorter, more or less. Some of those quantity words, mm -hmm. then we'll have to work on those for vocabulary. Yeah. Because he doesn't understand those. Right. right. Okay, touch the girl. Touch. Touch slippers. Slippers. Do you call those that, that in your house? Uh, I don't know what we call them. Um, Touch slippers. Do you need a Kleenex? You have to take something out of your mouth. Please use it. Put it in a Kleenex. Thank you. Slippers are like shoes for inside the house. Touch shoes or slippers. Find shoes. Shoes. Mm-hmm. 
That's shoes. Touch shoes. Shoes. Good job. And another word, these look like shoes she wears shoes. in the house. They're called, called slippers. 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 Okay. Find the word that says slippers. Slippers. There it is. And let's see how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. He wanted ten today. Ten words. Now we're going to do some yes and no. Do you see a television set? A television set. Do you see a TV? Do you see a TV? Do you see a TV? Yes! Good job. Do you see a boy? Yes! Where? I want to see what he does with this one. Mm -hmm. Where's the boy? Isis, look carefully. Is this a boy? Yes. Is this a boy? No. No. Is this a boy? No. Do you see a boy on TV? Yes. Okay, yes. All right, yes. Do you see a boy? No. Yes! Yes, you do. You do see a boy. But that one's on TV. TV. Do you see a washing machine? No. No, you sure don't. Do you see a footrest? Yes. Where is it? No. Is it yes or is it no? Do you see a foot rest? This right here. Look, look I'm going to show you. Do you see a foot rest? Foot. No. You do see a foot rest. That would be yes. Look, right here. Right here. Say foot rest. Well, say it with your mouth closed. <laughs> when your your dad says in his study, in his study he rests his foot on a table. So that's a foot rest too. Do you see a cabinet? Do you see a cabinet? No. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Find the cabinet. Yes. Yes, you see a cabinet. Where is it? No. Where is the cabinet? No. I didn't ask you yes or no. I said, where is it? Point to it. Look, I'll help you. Cabinet. Uh Cabinet. That's the cabinet. Touch Yee. it. This one. Yes. Do you see a cabinet? Yes. Yes. All right. Do you see a refrigerator? No. No, you do not see a refrigerator. Do you see a chair? Yes. Yes, good job. Do you see a rug? Yes! Yes, you do. 
do you see a winter jacket? No. No. Good job. Do you see a girl? Yes. Yes, you do. Do you see a car? No. Do you see an airplane? No. No, you do not. Do you see slippers? No. Yes. Which one? Yes or no? Do you see slippers? Yes. Yes. Where are the slippers? Where are they in the picture? Look at, remember, if you need to spit, you put your, put it in your paper. Thank you. You can have a drink. Remember, we said slippers are like inside shoes. Do you see shoes? Yes. Yes, where are they? Where are the shoes? Where are the shoes? Show me. Show me. Show me the... Shoes. shoes for the slippers. slippers. Where are they? Where are the slippers? Or shoes? Are these shoes or slippers right here? Is this shoes or slippers? No. No. Are these shoes or slippers right there? No. No, they're not. Are these shoes or slippers right here? Yes! Okay, good job. Is the television turned on? Yes! Yes, it is. Good job. Is a girl sitting down? No! Look again. Is a girl sitting down? Yes! Yes, she is. Here she is. She's sitting in the chair. Is... And we're going to stop right there. So you did very well. You had 80% on your yes, and you had 90% on your no. You did really good. Yes. Thank you. And we have two new words here. We have slippers. You can talk about those at home. Oh, we have three new words. Look at Isis. We have curtains. And we have a footrest. Oh, we actually had four. You did, and we have a cabinet. So maybe you can go in your house and you can find a cabinet, a footrest, curtains, or window covering. <laughs> we have window coverings, but they're not curtains. <laughs> okay, window coverings. Let's use that word. Let's use window coverings. And slippers. slippers. And they, slippers, remember we said we can call them inside shoes. Slippers are shoes you can wear inside your house and that you don't go outside with them. It keeps your house clean. So these are new words for Isis. I think in the house we call them booties. Oh, sure. Booties. booties. Daddy wears his booties. And booties, that, exactly, booties. Yeah. There. And that won't help to learn another word. So here you go. Booties. There. All right. Do you need a drink of water? Yes. 
Okay, we'll get you that. Why don't you go give that to your dad and you can review those words at home. Is that all right? Yes. Okay, give them to your dad and I'll get you some water. Thank you, Isis. Now we'll get you some water. Would you like, let's, would you like to, I'm going to get you your drink in a minute. Look at what we did today so far. We did, yes, we did our yes and no exercise. And you had 90% on your yes. And you had Oh, you had 80% on your yes, and you had 90% on your no. Good job. And then you have new words. New words, right? Yes. Cabinet. Slippers. Footrest. Window cover, window covering. So those are your new words today. And now I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to work on your math or do your story next? Do you work the math. Work the math. Okay, we're going to work the math. We'll do sets. Math sets. Okay, so we'll go like this. So maybe if we had three in here and two in here, how many would that equal? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these are our math sets. We'll do math next, and then we're going to do your three pigs story. We'll work some more on that. All right. One, two, three. So we have to work on your story. While I'm getting your water, please write your name on the top. I haven't done that consistently, but that might help for him to remember what our schedule is and to give him a little bit of a choice in terms of what he wants to do next. We get to do math now, good. Move that over there. Cute, is, is that a balloon coming off the eye? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it's a hot air balloon. It's good to go. I thought we'd use some different kind of counters today. We can spin for sets today. Let's see. Try to excuse me. I just have to get a, some blank sheets of paper. There we go. And you need a pencil, I presume. Sure we have some erasers that hopefully work. We need to sharpen that pencil. Is the uh, comprehension unknown? Yes, from session one. Definitely. Big change. Big change, yes. Yeah. yes. And with some self correction, he'll yeah. think about it and yeah. do that. So, very good on that. Okay, hey, we get to do some math. Yay, this is fun. Being the engineer that he is, you should I, do well. I, <laughs> I think that would be my first choice. Absolutely, because you're a detail man, aren't yes, you? Yes. There we go. We're going to use bears for sets today. We'll try to change them every day, so we're working with different objects. There's this guy called Stephen Ber Ber Berner or something, and um, he's a herbalist. And um, 
um, one of the interesting things that I have this book uh, on sacred uh, or herbal beers. Oh, that, really? Yeah, yes. And Jenny is like so smitten with that. Neat. She, um, uh, you know, like herbal beers are made out of, you know, so it's like you're taking a remedy almost. I mean, like a, a you know, so she's like, she's totally exploring it. But anyway, he, he's an herbalist and, and I was watching some of the videos and um, his whole concept on, uh, on plants is to see them from the heart as opposed to from the head. And that's what the Native Americans used to talk to plants. And a plant, he says, will actually change its chemical composition if it knows what it's supposed to do, or if there's some animal eating it, it'll start to create different things so the animal won't eat it. And think, it's very, very, it has, and so, uh, you know. That's fascinating. Yeah, I sent that to his uh, special ed teacher to, because uh, to, he's very, actually, he's creating a garden behind the school there for Isis and some other kids to Wonderful. experiment. And I just thought, uh, I'm even gonna think about going more into the woods with Isis and trying to learn a plant, not from books, but, you know, see what he picks up, because he's very, very psychic. Yeah, you know, that's so, exciting. So that's, that's something I'm going to explore. That's been in, very interesting. We have a friend who, well, her, his son is a professional brewmaster in Traverse City. Oh. And all organic. Wow. Uh, grows his own hops, the whole bit. In where? In Traverse, Traverse City. City. It's oh, called Terra Firma, if you look it up I've on heard, the internet. I've, I've heard of it. Yes. yes. Anyway, his, our friend, his dad, makes beer at home, and my favorite beer, he makes a basil beer. Oh, wow. A basil honey beer. It is wow. so good. Oh, jeez. All right. All right, so. You get I to, by the way, I'm enjoying my to, chocolate. Did you? <laughs> Organic chocolate. Sven, what's your first set? With some basil beer, I, I bet it would really be good. <laughs> Maybe I better get you some from them. I'll see. A friend of mine really wants to try your, your basil, basil beer. Well, How uh, many are you going to put in your first set? Three. Three. Okay, put three in your first set. So look, we have three. All right. Put three bears in your first set. One. Okay, spin for your second set. How many are going to go in this set? Spin. Three. Three. All right. We'll put three in this set, please. Three bears. add them together how many is going to be let's say the numbers three three you ready to say the numbers to get them exactly lined up thank you are you ready three three plus three Equals how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So how many do you have to put in this set? I think I saved his. I'm gonna have to make some more of. I'll make some on cards. Equals greater than that type of thing. Okay. So now you have to put three plus three equals, put that number in here. No, those are all used. I'll just have to use paper and my other cards are more difficult to count.
You did good. And we're going to make some signs now. We're going to do greater. Greater than. some of these last time. Less than. And we need another one. Equal to. Alright. So here's, we have six right here, we have three right there, and we have three right there. So three, three plus, plus three, three equals six! Can you find the equal sign? Can you find the equal sign, this one, this one, or that one? Or that one. I'll put it right here then. job. So this one, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. six. And look at when we take them off the paper, look how the groups look. Look how they look. Alright, so how many are in this pile? How many are in this pile? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm-hmm. You have six there, so six are here. How many are in this pile? Over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there's six here. How many are in this pile? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, we added three plus three and you got six, and they equal six. So which of these signs go here? Six is equal to six, six. or six is, is less than six, six, or six is greater, greater than, than six. six. Which one of these goes here? Is this number six? the same as this number six. Equal to means same number. Same. Which one of these signs would go with the sets? Same. Good job. Six equal is equal to six. Six, six is the same as six. six. Good job, Isis. Great. Let's do another one like that. So we're going to be using some of these signs. Excellent job. Okay, now we're going to do one here. These are going to be our sets. This means equals, this means plus, and this is the total. This is another word you've talked about in school. That means the total or the sum. Say that word. I think your math teacher uses this term. Sum. Sum. 
total. Total. That means how many are all together. All right, let's spin. And let's see if you can, how many are we going to put in that set? Spin. Mm. One. Only one, okay. So one is in this set. Find one there, please. Good. Spin again. How many are going to be in this set? Three. All right. Right number three. Okay, fill up that set with three bears, please. Now we're going to add them up. Let's say the numbers. One plus, plus two plus how many? Three. Three. Three equals how many? Four. Good. Plus three is oh, four. Yeah, four. All right. Four. Four. So how many are in these two sex sets combined? Four. Four. How many are in this set? How many are in that set? One, two, three, four. There you go. One, two, three, four. Okay. And which sign would fit? Is four less this than one? four? Yeah. Is four greater four. than four? four? Or is four, four. equal to four? four. Which one fits in the middle? <laughs> How many do you have in this set? How many are in bears are in this set? Four. Four. Well, is four less than four? Is four greater, greater than, than four? four? Or is four equal to, to four? four? Equal then. Two. Equal to, all right, let's say it. Four is some equal, equal to, to four. four. And this word is same. same. You could say four, four is, is the, the same, same as four. four. All right, now we're going to we'll do something different. I have an interesting idea, a twist. Uh, Good. Uh, when he spins it, like if he gets on blue, um, that he actually uh, puts down, um, uh, what was that, three? Three. Three, three mm -hmm. blue bears. And if he gets it on yellow, then he puts on two yellow bears. Good idea. Two different types so of things. So that great. And then you add two different types, like orange and apples. And, you add, and, then, yeah. and then you can maybe even um, ask his uh, 
Is there more blueberries? Which is more blue or yellow? Berries? Yeah, so let's. This came to me as you were doing. Yeah, that. let's do that. And I purposely wanted to do. It was interesting. I actually thought he'd color code them. Oh yeah, I, the, I did. See, that's the engineer in me. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I thought he would color code yeah, them right off the I bat. I know that's. It surprised me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Now let's look at our numbers here. Oh, let's change these around now. In one of our first sets, we had how many? How many? Three? Three. Okay, we had three in that set. And how many did we have way over here when they were all added up? Hmm? bears then. Dad had a good idea. How many? So we have three there. How many do we have here? How many are there? You have three red bears and how many how many blue bears do you have? Do you have You have three, four, or six. How many are bears are in this set? We're looking at that. Here's six right here. How many? How many bears? So how many bears are in this set? Oops, three. Three. Okay. Three bears are in this set. How many bears are in this set? You count three or four or six. Or six. Which one? Six. All right. Slide it over. Slide it under. Under. Okay, now we have three, three. and six. six. Three. three. Now let's think about that one. Is three less than six? Is three equal to six? six. Are they the same? Or is three greater than six? six? That means there are more. Greater than means more. Okay, which one of these signs goes here? I want to go pee on toilet. Okay, well you sure may. We won't argue. That's you surprised when we got that right away? Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah. was too. Yeah, it's. I think something's starting to click. Yeah, no, I, I really, it's just you know, it's it's like so simple. They're not big numbers, but you're taking, you're bringing in the concepts so that um, it, it's it's not like nine plus six or some no. big numbers. It's small we numbers. And we don't need to go there. Yeah, you don't. No, you don't because you're you're just trying to get the concept right. of. Uh, uh, you know, of it, and, uh, and I, I could see the wheels churning in his head. Um, I could too. Yeah. He actually surprised me. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like a yes, no, and he's good at choices, and he, and, and once he understands what your what that means, mm -hmm. you know, and that, this is what I think that you know some educators fail to, you know, they expect, you know. Regular kids would just immediately uh, get it in class and know what it means. But with him, if he doesn't understand it, then he'll try to give you an answer mm -hmm. that pleases you to get the answer, but he doesn't still understand it. Exactly. You see? Mm -hmm. And so with, with the touch point math, he was getting answers, but he still wasn't getting the whole concept. Mm -hmm. But this this is really what they're working on with the less than and equal. Uh, all of this is what they're trying to do in math right That's now with good. him. And, um, so we'll uh, just work on it a little each day here too. Yeah. When he comes, I should check him. Yeah. Yeah. Something that off with that. Well, we need to do this. So, how many bears are in this set? How many bears are in this set? Three. One, two, three. How many bears are in this six. set? Six. Okay, which one of these goes in the middle? Three is less, less than six. Is 
3 is, is equal, equal to, to six. 6. Are they the same? Or 3 is greater than 6. That means more than. Which pile looks like it has more? Greater than 6. Now is 3, is this, this bigger is than 6? Six? Six. That greater than means there are more bears here than here. Than here. Is that right? Are there more bears here? Is this greater than 6? Six? 6. Yes! Mm, no. Here's what it is. 3, three is, is less, less than, than 6. six. Less than means there are I not as many. There's only three. And look at all the bears here. There's two groups of three. See? Three plus three is six. And you only have one group over here. But look at all the bears together right there. So that means three, e just three, e is less, less than, than six. six. There are not There's as many. Three. three is not, it means not as many. Three. Okay, we're going to stop right there and we'll come back and work on that, okay? Yes. Very good. You did a really good job. Would you like to have a treat? Yes. All right. Would you like some cookies? Would you like some M&Ms? Or would you like a sucker? Would you like a... You want a sucker today? Yes! Alright. Let's see what flavors we have. You may choose. Which one looks good? This one. I think that's going to be lemonade. lemonade. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good too. Well, thank you, Isis. Is this? Yes. Good work today. Good work. And let's get your jacket on. And next time, we will do the three little pigs next time. Did we work on yes, no questions? Did we work on yes and no questions? Are we all done with that? Yes. Okay, check it off. Put a check. Did we do some math sets? Yes. Check it off. Did we get to finish our three pig story? Yes. Did we? Yeah. Did we do the three pig story today? Yes. In here. In here. In here. No, no. We didn't have time. We'll do that next time, okay? Okay. We'll put no time. No time for that one. And today is Monday. Do you know what month it is? You know what month? Do you remember? What month is that? November. And do you know the number of the day today? What number? 11th. Today is November 11th. And what is the year? Two. 2013. Yes, 2013. How are you feeling today, like right now? I feel happy. Okay, circle it. Okay, good job. We can tell mom. I knew. equals to you did really good on that you knew what this meant today you knew equals to it means the same it means the same it means the same to go. Good job. Yes. You can take that home and tell mom what you did. Yes. All right. Thank you.